Russian Twitch streamer Anna Bajutova has been sentenced to 5.5 years in prison. Over the past two years, 132 people have been convicted on these charges. A wise man once said, if you're planning to poop on a country's decision, if you're planning to criticize that country's leader, make sure you are not in that country. And before you do it, you really got to think it through. Because once you open your mouth and you start criticizing this government, doesn't matter if you have two viewers it doesn't matter if your video gets 50 views there's a very high chance you're gonna pop on the radar and they're gonna pull a uno reverse card on your ass and instead of you pooping in their mouth they're going to poop in yours and one day if you decided to go through with it make sure that poop is juicy watery stinky hard as shit when you do it make sure it's worth it that wise man is sitting in front of you hey and I have no doubt, I have so many warrants for my arrest the second I put my leg back in Iran about the shit that I've said about the some of the comments I made about Baba Hezbollah. I still don't know which one is alive, which one is dead one. But the guy with the beard who spoke, who speaks in 0.25x, the whole act of Islam in the Iranian people, which 99% of the people in Iran, they already know this, is the whole act of we are Islam. It's all for making money. They, they are with bitches in Las Vegas on weekends. But unfortunately, not everyone has the wisdom like mine. Like this Twitch streamer over here in Russia who will be serving five and a half years in prison in Russia for yapping. Now, most of you are aware of the beef going on in 2022 where Russia decided to invade Ukraine to borrow some land. And obviously, Russia being the bigger country, having bigger toys, having a bigger military, they were very successful with their invasion in Ukraine. And during a war, unfortunately, most countries fight dirty. They commit war crimes like this Haiwan's Israel. When they get exposed on social media, that's where people started to speak up. They try to expose them even more of their war crimes. Just like her, people take it to the social media, especially creators, they share the truth with their fan base or when it comes to Ben Shapiro, they share lies with their fan base. And when you do it in countries like Iran, China, Russia, like these kind of countries, you gotta be extremely careful with what you say. I believe it is extremely stupid to do it in your own country. If you wanna shit talk people, do it somewhere else. Like I think the best place for this is just go to the US. Because US people, they can shit on their own president, on their own uh, whole government and it's freedom of speech. You can literally, nothing's going to happen to you. You can literally start a rose show calling Donald Trump an orange toupee doll. You can shit on Joe Biden's mouth and call him a sleepy Joe eating ice cream without having any realization around him about what's going on. Secret Service team, the Eagle has landed and is making his way down the helicopter stairs. We know his history with stairs and this could be a disaster. Stand by. Eagle has made it down the stairs. He was a little wobbly at the end, but he made it. Eagle appears to be very disoriented today. We're going to need to do like last time and point out exactly where we need him to go. Secret Service team, prepare a point. Hold that point. Perfect. No way he could miss that. Eagle will be turning in five, four, three, two. He missed his mark. He missed his mark. Eagle is wandering. Jesus Christ. All units be advised. We are going to need a pretty lady or small child of some sort with nice smelling hair to get the eagle back on track. But when it comes to other countries, it is a very dangerous thing to do. I don't know if you guys remember like two years ago, there was a big protest going on in Iran. It was about Mahsa Amini. They basically unalived her because she was not wearing her hijab in the right way and people just had enough they had enough for years so they decided to take it to the streets and there's a lot of people who came forward and they decided to protest against this even there's a lot of like famous singers they made songs about this like fuck the government for a hijab you're unaliving our woman it was a big thing and these people even a normal people like on the street they spoke up about the situation anyone who spoke about the situation van comes shatach snatched disappeared where's my son he disappeared for a month we don't know what happened to him oh yeah we found him dead somewhere or imprisoned for like 20 years people getting snatched people getting tortured people getting prisoned for like a sentence that they say on the street or the sentence they say on social media but fortunately for her she did not disappear because most people who speak against vladimir putin they disappear. Why do you think he's a president for like, I don't know, 50 years? He keeps on getting reelected. He's like, oh, thank you. Thank you guys so much. Because whoever votes against him, they 
disappear into thin air. We don't know what happened to them. Oh, they took a vacation in Bali. They'll be back in like six years. Don't, don't you worry about things. And Putin standing there pretending like he doesn't know like he was going to win either way. And he's like, thank you guys. Thank you. I will not let my country down. I love, I love you people. And people just voting for him and just going on the streets and like crying and clapping at the same time. East, West, Putin is the best. Now the Moscow Times says that uh, this woman was found guilty of spreading false information about the Russian army on her Twitch channel. The live broadcast originally occurred in June of 2023, according to the report, although the other sources, including Radio Free Europe, say the incident took place in 2022. After doing my own investigation, it came out that she started speaking about this in 2022, about how they touch women, the Russian army touch women without their consent. They unalive innocent people and just went on a whole rant of just talking shit about them. And Russia also made it illegal for discrediting or spreading false information about the army in 2022 as well. So knowing that it was illegal for her to talk about these things, she did it anyways because she had only 9,000 followers on Twitch and she had 50 average viewers. She thought that nothing can happen to her. Maybe she did this before, but it came to the government's attention that she's been talking all this shit so they decided to capture her in august of 2023 after like few months because also her twitch channel got banned in march of 2023 twitch hasn't said the reason why she's been banned they don't usually say but i believe it was because of the words that she used she used very harsh words like grape unaliving i don't know beheading she used a lot of like big words that you're not allowed to say on twitch even on kick it's a bit risky to say it as well now how did this streamer get captured other russian streamers snitched on her they went to the police they went complained to the government they said this person is yapping about our country and they're spreading lies that is when putin's people grabbed her hand and they're like C come here come here countries like russia they don't fuck around you shouldn't ever like if you want to share your speech about them just be out of the country just for your own sake like even i don't know if you remember the lgtpq they came and they wanted to start a protest and the protest lasted 30 seconds after the police started kicking them in their butts and they're like get the fuck out of here and many of the protesters were arrested as well for being gay apparently even like if you if you just have like a LGBTQ, I don't know, eyebrows or eyelashes, you're going to get arrested for it. And just yesterday, it was her hearing in court and she was sentenced to five and a half years in prison. Her lawyer also said the sentence was very harsh as they will appeal. The streamer also said that she made a comment that it's, it's fucked up that I'm getting sentenced for five and a half years. She said what in a witness box is disgusting and vile. The original sentence for sharing misinformation in Russia is 15 years, but I mean, she's lucky she got only five and a half. Imagine you go in prison and, you know, you ask each other, you all sit together in like a table and you're like, yo, what did you do? Why are you here? I unalived a Chipotle employee and I skinned him alive because he didn't put enough chicken in my plate. The other one goes on. After 30 years, they finally caught me. I'm a hitman who have like, I have 80 bodies on my reputation. And once it comes her turn, hey, what? why did you get, why did you get arrested? Why are you here for? What did you do? Whose skin did you skin? Oh, hey guys, I'm a Twitch streamer with 9,000 followers. I average like 50 views and I get like a lot of donations. So basically, so basically I'm here for yapping. I don't think there's anything more gayer than being in prison for yapping. I, 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 don't, I don't think, I think she's going to get bullied a lot on the, <laughs> in prison. There's no way they can fight this sentencing and appeal it because once the Russian government, they made their decision, they made their decision. You're going to stay there until the day you come out. And this goes on for most countries. I feel like every country besides the US, you can't talk shit about the government. They're going to catch you. Sometimes maybe if the video doesn't get enough attention, they'll let you slide, give you another chance. But if the video goes viral, you're 100% going to get arrested. Now, before I leave you, I'm going to share some extra, extra wisdom with you because you look extra cute today. Think before you speak it come, when it comes to anything. 
Let me know your thoughts in the... I don't know why I keep doing this voice. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Take care of yourself. Like and subscribe. I don't know. I feel like I need to remind you so every time you do it, that it becomes a habit so I don't have to tell you anymore. You just automatically do it. The second you open my videos and you see my face, I want you to touch me with a like. Anyways, take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.